So two matrices are equal to each other if, in fact, they have the exact same number of rows, the exact same number of columns, and each entry, which sometimes if the matrix is called A, is denoted as AIJ, where I is the, the row you're in and J is the column you're in, if each of those entries are the exact same number. So basically they have to be the exact same values and they have to be the same size. So let's take a look at an example. So here's a matrix A, which notice is a 3 by 2 matrix, and a matrix B, which is also a 3 by 2 matrix. So for example, A11 is the entry in the first row, uh, first column, which is 6. A21 would be the entry in the uh, second row, first column, which would be a half, and so forth. You can go down the list. And you can look at the B. Like, for example, B32 would be the entry in the third uh, row and the second uh, column, which in this case would be uh, 3 squared. Now, are these two matrices equal to each other? Well, there are uh, two basic things we have to check. Are they the same size? Well, this is a 3 by 2, 3 by 2, so the same size. And now, is each particular element equal to the corresponding element on the other one? Let's just check it out. 6 and 6, they're the same. Square root of 4, that's a fancy way of saying 2, so they're the same number. In fact, those are equal. Uh, what about here in the in the 2, 1 spot? So A, 2, 1 and B, 2, 1. This is a half and this is 0 0.5. Those are both the same number. Negative 1 and how about negative 2 over 2? Negative 2 over 2 is just negative 1. What's going on here? 0 equals 0, and does 9 equal 3 squared? Sure does. So in fact, these are examples of two matrices that are actually equal. These are equal matrices. How about these two matrices right here? Here's C, 3, 2, 1, and matrix D, 3, 2, 1. And they're equal. Mm, but are they? You see, they don't have the same dimensions. This has uh, three rows and one column. It's a three by one. This has one row and three columns. It's a one by three. So in fact, these two can definitely not be the same. Even though the values somehow look like they correspond, these are not the same at all. So you can only have two matrices being the same if, in fact, they're the same size, which means the number of rows agree and the number of columns agree. So that was a sneaky, tricky question. Now, suppose that I give you two matrices like this, and I ask you to say, OK, if these two matrices are really going to be equal, find x, y, and z. Well, we can do that by looking at it. First of all, notice that these can be equal, because this is a 2 by 1, 2, 3 matrices, so that's fine. And if they're really going to be equal, then everything corresponding parts have to be equal. So the 2 has to equal 2, that's great. The 0 has to equal 0, that's great. The negative 2 has to equal negative 2, that's great. But what about the other stuff? Well, they just have to be equal. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Well, that means that the x must be negative 1. I can just read that right off here. x equals negative 1. That's cool. And then what do I know here? I know that x plus y has to equal 5. So that means that x plus y has to equal 5. You already told me that x equals negative 1. So I put a negative 1 in here for that. I can add 1 to both sides and see y has to equal 6. So y must equal 6. So there's the value for y. And then what about these things? These corresponding terms have to be equal. So z minus x needs to equal 10 for these two matrices to be equal. I know that uh, x actually equals negative 1. So this is z minus negative 1, or z plus 1 equals 10. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I say z equals 9. So z needs to equal 9. Wow, I just solved for x, y, and z just knowing that these two matrices had to be the same matrix. They have the same number of rows, the same number of columns, and each end corresponding entry has to be equal. With the choice of negative 1 for x, 6 for y, and 9 for z, that actually happens. So therefore, we see that, in fact, these two matrices are the same, and we now understand what it means for two matrices to be the same. They enjoy the same number of rows, they enjoy the same number of columns, and every single corresponding entry agrees exactly. I'll see you soon.